today in the pathology lab, we will be examining the gross pathology of a breast specimen. We will start off with the description with measurements of the breast specimen, followed by sampling. This is a right mastectomy specimen showing the ellipse of skin, a slice portion of the breast, and the nipple region. Dye was previously injected to identify the sentinel lymph node. To orientate, this is the axillary tail, the lateral margin, the medial margin, the superior and inferior margin. We will now flip over the specimen. The posterior margin is inked black, superior inked green, and inferior inked yellow. The breast can also be divided into quadrants, namely the upper outer quadrant, lower outer, upper inner, and lower inner quadrants. The tumour in this case is located in the upper outer quadrant. Inspecting the breast slices, areas of fibrosis can be identified, suggesting fibrocystic change. Moving on, the tumour is a whitish irregular mass infiltrating surrounding fat. The tumour measures 3.5 cm from superior to inferior, 3 cm from anterior to posterior, and 2.5 cm from medial to lateral. The tumour also measures 0.7 cm from the posterior margin, and 0.5 cm from the superior margin. We move on to sampling of the breast specimen. The benign regions will be sampled first before the tumour to avoid contamination of benign tissues with residual malignant tissues from the instruments. We will sample the nipple to assess for Paget's disease. We then proceed to sample normal breast tissue from quadrants of the breast uninvolved by the tumour. We will examine the slice of breast with the tumour closest to the margins to orientate the anterior margin covered by skin, superior margin inked green, and inferior margin inked yellow. We will take sections of the tumour with adjacent normal breast tissue at the superior and posterior margins. This is an example of how the tumour will be sampled with the posterior margin. The same process will be repeated for the superior margin. Lymph nodes from the axillary tail will be sampled as well. Here we have the sections on cassettes ready to be sent off for processing into microscopic sections. To recap, here's the nipple, normal breast tissue from the three uninvolved quadrants, tumour with superior and posterior margins, and a sample of pure tumour tissue. These slices, together with lymph nodes from the axillary tail, will be sent for processing to be evaluated microscopically for staging and grading purposes, which we will discuss in part 2 of this video.